Good morning, friends. Carrie from down in the Houston area. How are you on this overcast, but no raining right now, day from the Houston area? Hope you are ready for a wonderful midweek. Get ready with me. I appreciate you guys so very much for being part of my community and coming in in the mornings while we get ready for our, our day, whatever that day is. For you, we're all different. We all have different jobs. We all have different lives. And I appreciate the fact that you take the time to come in and listen to me talk into this camera and just share with you my experiences, what I've learned through the course of my 61 years. I am 61 years old. So that I wanted to just chat for a second before we get started today about an issue that uh, I have actually been questioned on twice, and I want to sec actually want to set the record straight on air or in film, so everyone is on the same page. I was born in 1962 in Australia, and I moved to the United States in 1969. I've been here ever since. Came here for my dad's career. He's a retired pro golfer, and I lived in a remarkable life. But I am, I am 61 years old soon to be 62 this month. <clears throat> and I have worked my entire life to take really good care of my skin and myself. And um, my efforts have shown, have proven that if you do the work and you put the work in and you take care of your skin and you take care of your body and you take care of you, that you can, as you get older, still have beautiful skin, which then translates to nice looking or beautiful makeup, however you want to classify it, right? So I am 61. Without showing you a driver's license, I am 61 years old. You can go anywhere on the internet and find that information out. I am a, I am a business owner. My business information and my personal information, just like yours, is available to anybody online if you are inclined enough to go and find it. So please, if you still doubt the fact that I am 61 years old and you find the need to go do that, please go ahead and go do it. And you'll find exactly what I have just told you. Second thing I wanted to address is filming these videos. I film these videos generally on my laptop, on my desktop, but right now I am not in my office. My office has damage from the flood and I cannot use my desktop. So right now I am using my camera. And when I film my Get Ready With You videos, I film them with no filters. What you see is what you get. I am 61 years old. I do not have a filter on this camera on. The only time I use a filter is sometimes I use a lighting filter, which I don't need right now because I am sitting under a beautiful chandelier and there's plenty of light. Or sometimes I will use a eyelash filter. That's it. And that's it. I do not use any sort of filter when I am filming these videos. And those filters are only used in still photos. So I want to put that question finally to bed. So good morning. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Wednesday uh, wearing polka dots today. I'm kind of in one of those moods. You know, you got to be in one of those moods to wear polka dots. Uh, it's a, um, I've always loved polka dots in every way. My mom loved polka dots too. So let's get going. I'm gonna do a uh, black and gray look today. I don't do black very often. You guys know that if you follow me at all, but I am gonna do it today. Uh, I have that sort of frame of mind today. Bold, determined, fierce, take no prisoners. Um, I don't like being questioned and so anyways, that's, that's sort of what inspired this look today. Um, 
so what have I done? The only thing I've done is put my um, moisturizer on, my Life Cell, which I use twice a day, morning and night, and I have done my brows. And my brows are, I've done my brows with this system. This is the Benefit Bang three-step system. This is the wax, this is the color filler, and this is the pencil. And for somebody who cannot do brows, and I can't, I'm gonna just tell you that, I've never been good at it. I think they don't ever think they look right. Um, some of you have com complimented that they do look nice, and I appreciate that. But for me, my standards, I just don't ever think they look good enough. But anyways, this is as close as I can to, to feeling like they look good with this system. It's very, very simple. The wax locks the hairs, the color comes back in and fills in the sparseness in your brows, and then you can finally shape and completely fill in with the pencil. It is the easiest system that I have found to date. And you guys actually gave me the um, information and you guys actually are the ones that started me to use that program, the, that system. So thank you for that. Uh, that's what this is all about. This channel is all about exchanging ideas and helping each other to feel our very best. When you feel your best and you look your best, you're gonna do your best because your confidence levels just naturally go up. That is not a narcissistic trend. That is just being a confident individual as you go through the day and you, whatever it is that your day brings, whether you work from home, whether you don't work, whether you're just a house um, engineer, which is the most important job, in my opinion, being a mother and, a, and running a home on the planet, bar none. Our children are our future. Um, or if you're a high, you know, if you work in corporate America and you, you have a high executive job, putting yourself together and making yourself feel good every day, in my opinion, starts your day off in the right direction. It does for me. And when I don't do it, I don't feel like my day is starting correctly. So eyebrows are done. Grab your drink. Grab something to eat if you need it. Grab your supplies and your makeup and your tools and let's get going. Let's use, first of all, this is Makeup Revolution's Fix and Glow. Love this product. As you guys know by now, I use this every day. It is a beautiful moisturizer. Gives your skin this beautiful sheen. If you wanted to use this product, and nothing else, you know, if you have a stay at home day and you just wanted your skin to look beautiful and have some radiance to it and maybe throw on some mascara um, and you were lucky enough to not have any discoloration or areas that you needed to cover up, this would be a beautiful product just to use and nothing else because it gives you this beautiful sheen, as you can see, and I love it. The moisturizer's got SPF in it. Makes my skin feel like silk, it really does. I just absolutely love that product. Um, now we're gonna come in and we are going to use our um, e.l.f. Cookies and Cream Primer. This is my favorite e.l.f. Primer. I love this product. I love the way it smells. I love the way it goes on. And I love the, the finish that I get with my skin when my skin is has, has drank all this in. And it is ready then for me to work with my concealers and my foundation, my wet products. It just is... A wonderful, wonderful primer. And I love the way that that makes my face look and feel. Just gonna let it drink itself in there for a minute, get into all of those lines, which you guys obviously see, I have. And I have already hit the brows. <laughs> but that's gonna happen when you do them first. So I guess I really shouldn't be that hard on myself, but I am. Let's just come back in and fill them back in. Just hit them when I was putting that on.
easiest, easiest, easiest pencil ever. I don't know what it is. I think it's the, I don't know. I'm not an engineer. I'm not even going to go there. That's way over my head. Okay, that feels nice. Okay, we're going to change it up today. And today we're going to use our Catrice Under Eye Blur. Um, I'm going to just, because I have two of these products, I want to make sure that I'm you know, using both of them, not wasting any product. And so we're gonna put this one on today. This one has a pinkier tinge to it, which actually matches my skin tone better than the uh, professional one. But um, I think the other one, when we did our comparison the other day, the consensus was the other one did have a brighter appearance. Um, and I would agree with that for sure. The other one just gives you a little bit brighter appearance, um, but they're both very good and they both definitely do what they're designed to do. And that's to conceal and cover up the dark circles that you get or the blemishes or the imperfections. And um, they're both great products. I love the both of them. They both do what they claim to do. So I have no complaints about either one of them in that regard. And as I said, one just has a pinkier tinge to it and the other one has, just goes on a little bit brighter. But I use, I will continue to use both of them and I will have both of them in my makeup or a patrar because I like both of them. I really do like both of them, so. No other blemishes except right here. We'll cover those up. Okay, very nice. And just to remind you of this one, this one is Catrice. This product, I got it um, at Amazon as well. And I, I believe it was like eight or $9. Uh, and it is in the lightest color. So there you go. All right. Let that sink in a little bit while we get out our contour product. This is also an e.l.f. product and another product that you guys encouraged me to try. And I'm so glad that I did because um, my contour is definitely much improved. I actually saw this particular product being used by another influencer that I follow and um, I, I really like the way she's sort of similar coloring as me and what I like about this is that I can blend here so use these two for my initial application and then I come in on the top after I've done that and I blend with these two um, and I'm also using this before I put on my uh, finishing powder uh, to get a different look for my contour and I definitely like that application. It's much softer in my opinion doing it this way. So I'm putting this on. So now that I've got that on with these two colors, I come in with the top two colors and I just make sure that it's all really blended and it's not too dark. I want to see the color, but I don't want it to be really, really dark. Okay, very nice. Great product. This is multi-use product too, because you, because you can use this as eyeshadow. And Elf, what, what can you say about Elf? They've revolutionized makeup for everybody. Now, um, even if you were on a very, very strict budget, uh, makeup can now be affordable and they're great products, great formulas, and the price is just unbelievable compared to so many others. So we'll get that on. Now we're gonna come in and we're going to be using my Laura Mercier. It's not in the container that it comes in because remember I 
I doctor this up a little bit. I use the product, plus I add some powder to it to get a different tone that matches my skin better. It's a pink tone, but it's not quite as pink. Um, and it has powder in it, so it helps me, especially here in Houston, where it is so incredibly humid, to help keep that matte look that I prefer. So we're gonna dip down into that. And we're gonna get started. We're gonna start under the eyes. Get those set. Hope your week has started off great and you're having a productive week. My week has been a challenge uh, because of the problems with the flood and not being able to work in my office again. And of course, all of my clients being concerned about my clients and whether or not they have been part of the flood. It has been a very, very busy, stressful week. The flooding has just been horrible here in the Houston area. And um, unfortunately, it is the last thing that we needed here in Texas. Our insurance rates have absolutely gone through the roof. Um, if you follow me, you probably know that I own an insurance agency and it has been the worst two and a half years of my 43 year career as an insurance agent. Um, here in Texas, our insurance rates have, have gone up 60% on average, uh, which is just unbelievable. It is the worst, worst insurance market I've ever, ever experienced in my career. And these floods definitely are going to have a another devastating effect because as you know, insurance is, is spreading the risk. You, you're a pool and whenever we have these kind of catastrophes, it inevitable, inevitably um, influences what happens with our rates. And uh, this is gonna be the same this time. We're going to see um, change in rates because there's millions and millions and billions and billions of dollars worth of damage that has occurred here in the last week. And unfortunately for all of us, even though we haven't done anything, we're gonna see it in our pocketbook. And that is the last thing we needed here in Texas. If anything, we needed it to go the other way, but unfortunately, I just don't see that happening. I really don't, and that's very unfortunate um, for all of us. You know, I didn't, you know what? I can't believe this. I forgot to put on my foundation. So what I'm going to do, what a goofball, completely forgot that this morning. I got so busy chacking and yakking and talking to you and my skin looks so great with just my concealers on that I didn't even think about putting on my foundation. What a goofball. Oh well, it happens. So now I'm going to come in just to be on the safe side and we're going to use some of this um, Fenty. It is Fenty and it is a powder foundation. I can't believe I just did that. What a goofball. What a goofball. That's what happens when you let somebody's stupid comments derail you from your norm. But it is okay. We will make it work. And as you can see, this is a beautiful product too. This is a powdered foundation. And as you can see, it works beautifully as well. 
So if you make a mistake, <laughs> like I just did, this is a great product to have on hand. It really is. And this is really a nice product. If you want a really heavy coverage and you like that matte finish, and let's say you're going to be doing some filming and you want your skin to just really pop, this is a great product to have in your makeup collection. It really is. Um, I use it a lot when I am um, going for auditions. Um, because if you follow me, you know that I am a senior model and actor. And so I do use that when I am um, going for an audition because I want that really beautiful porcelain look on my skin and that provides it to me. It's just a little bit different look and it just provides you a little bit different finish, but it's, as you can see, it is beautiful, really beautiful. So. Now that I goofed that up, but saved the day, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I told you we're gonna do gray and black. And what are we gonna use today? We're going to use my Jumbo a Vanilla Cream Stick for the eye socket. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna set it using this pa uh, palette. We're gonna set the white, but then we're gonna add gray. And then we're gonna top it off with a black liner and I don't do black but I really wanted to do it today because I'm using this gray and um, white color scheme so we're gonna take this and we are going to just start down on the lid I'm gonna work it all the way up go all the way up underneath your brow and you don't need a lot of this right you just need to make connection with your skin you can see how beautifully it goes on and for me i find this product works better for me when i do find a matching color and i seal it with a powder with a powder shade or you can use a um, highlighter for me I just have better control over this stick when I can use a um, powder to seal it up I am putting it down in my corners of my eye here in the tear duct area we're gonna we're going to blend that now, this is my favorite gray palette of all time. I got it from Sheen. And it is, um, let me read the, give you the spelling. I'm not going to try to pronounce the edit because I will mangle it. But it is D-I-K-A-L-U. And it is this beautiful gray. Love, love, love this palette. I wish um, that I had bought two and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna find another one and I'm gonna buy it because I just love it. I love the grays. They are really traditional gray. Traditional, there's no green and there's no blue in these, gray, in these grays. Okay, we're gonna use this white color in here and we're just gonna come in and we're gonna go over, dust that pencil and lock it in, lock the color in, and we're going to put it under here too. I can't believe I forgot to do my foundation, that's hysterical. Okay. So we've got the white on. Now let's come in and because I'm using um, sort of a combination of the matte and the shimmer effect because the jumbo stick is definitely a shimmer but the, eye, the white that I just added was a matte. I'm gonna use the matte um, to just kind of go over the lid and take that up into transitional area. 
So I want the, the lid to have sort of a gray tinge to it, but I don't want it to be a dark gray. So we're, that's why I put the white down first. I wanted it to be a really soft gray. And the reason for that is because we're using a black liner. Okay, so beautiful. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to pick up this darker gray shimmer right here. I'm going to put that up in transition. Just let your brush be your applicator and back and forth sweeping motions. Let it do the work for you. forth back forth back forth back forth back forth back forth that's beautiful love that mm, beautiful I love grays they're just one of my favorite color gray and pink are my two favorite colors that's why my logos are all gray and pink <laughs> black pencil I think this is probably maybe the second video I have ever used a black pencil. It's just not something that I use very often. So we're going to start and we're going to put it on as close to the lashes as I can get them. Get it. And we're just going to follow the outline of the eyelid. I'm going to do the same down below. All right, now we are going to find a, um, a small sort of stiffer brush that you can use to blend this. And let's blend, let's soften this out. Same up here, let's get it really soft. And let's pull it up. So we're letting it create its own little wing here. Wow, do the same over here, blend, and then let the brush create your little wing. What you guys think? Wow. Love that. Yep. Now I'm just going to take and I'm just going to pull it up into the, uh, whoops. I am going to dip back into this palette again. I'm going to go over into the darkest color and just very gently get a tiny little bit on the end of my brush. And we're just going to connect this outer corner up into transition. So we're just connecting it right there. And then we're making a triangle and we are blending outward. It's 
So I've literally made a triangle on each corner of my eye, right here, out this direction, out that direction, and then blended it down on that line, on the same on the other side. Now you're gonna get some fallout here, so let's pick up our, our rectangular uh, powder puff and dip into our finishing powder, get some on the end, and Let's get some underneath here. We're gonna brighten the under eye a little bit. And we're gonna pick up that fallout that sort of happened under there. Not a lot, but just enough to where we need to fix it. Now, I am really, really liking the top part of uh, this look, but I don't like the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that same powder I'm going to pick up a fluffier brush and we are just going to lighten that up. Yeah, we're just lighting, lightening up that darker black and we are turning it to a darker gray, a dark gray. But I do very much like the top the way that it is. Just a little bit of powder up here just to sort of soften that darkness right there. Beautiful. Mm. Now this look, you could definitely take, emphasize it, make it much, much more dramatic by adding some more layers of color take it into an evening look and it would be absolutely stunning. You could also come in here if you were changing colors and add purples, um, blues. I am wearing my Coco Shimmer LA Girls lipstick again today. I do love this $3 lipstick. It's amazing, right? It's amazing what you can find. If you um, just take them, take a few minutes and look in your surroundings and see what's available wherever you might be. I am going to put some lip gloss on top of that. This is my Physician's Formula Diamond Lip Gloss. Very pretty, love that too. Now we need to get some blush on here. So we're gonna use my Water Brat. I'm gonna put it on the cheeks right here. And I love this blush because it has this beautiful iridescence to it that gives you this beautiful reflectiveness it's light you know it has obviously it has some highlighting characteristics to it and a lot of people use this just simply as a pink highlighter um i just love the way it gives my skin this beautiful natural sort of flush natural pink flush and um I think it goes good with the undertones of my skin as well. Okay, let's jump in now and let's just blend, make sure that all this is blended before we get to lashes. Let's see if we re-hit the, nope, I haven't touched them, good. Let's curl these lashes. For me, I, I have to curl my lashes every day because my lashes are extremely straight and they are very light in color. So um, I've got to curl and I've got to wear mascara. I, I've seen some people that don't 
have to do either. And I'm just in awe how beautiful their lashes are. Um, my stepdaughter, when she was younger, had absolutely gorgeous, long, long black lashes. And she didn't have to do anything to them. I mean, they would come up and touch her, <laughs> her brow. Okay, we are using a uh, Benefit mascara this morning. Benefit Bang. And we are starting down at the base like I always do. Want to give every opportunity to lock that curl in for the day. We'd really love to hear from you guys. What is your favorite mascara? And why is it your favorite? What characteristics? Is it the wand? Is it the formula? Is it the color? Is it how easy that it, you can take it off? What is it about the your favorite mascara that you like about it? And is there anything that you really don't like about it? There's only one mascara that I can truly say I have no complaints about, and that is the L'Oreal Panorama, the new one that launched not too long ago. Um, my other two favorites, I do have some issues with them. They're still great products and I still use them. I just wish they'd, you know, like this one, for example, I love this mascara. It's my second favorite mascara. I love the formula. I love the look that it gives my lashes. It combs, coats, and extends them beautifully. My only complaint is the wand. It's just not quite stiff enough, but it wouldn't prevent me from buying it again and using it because the, the end result is what I'm looking for. So what, what's your favorite? Tell me, I'd love to know. See how many responses we can get and if we get a, a um, product that is used by a lot of us, we'd love to know that. And Separated here, got a little bit of a clump right there. Let's see if we can work it out. May have to separate it in a little bit. Yeah, probably gonna have to separate it, but that's okay. We'll come in with a paper clip and separate it here in a second. Oh, got it. Okay, just finishing up my second coat here, going towards the end of the lashes. Beautiful. Now let's come down and let's do the bottom. Yeah, blending that bottom black liner out definitely made a big difference. It made this the look much softer. I do like the dark dramatic on the top, but on the bottom, definitely for me, blending that into a lighter shade made all of the difference. There we go. Benefit Bang Mascara. My second all-time favorite. 
Love, love that product. I do love these jumbo sticks too. Now, you can use this, by the way, I forgot to mention this, you can use this as a highlighter. Uh, I have not had good success with it, but um, there is a influencer um, in Canada. She does a lot of wedding, um, I'm sorry, I don't know her name, but she's a beautiful blonde girl. She does a lot of wedding um, makeup and she is a professional makeup artist. She uses this product probably the best I have ever seen anybody use it. She uses it a lot in her, her wedding um, videos. So you might wanna check her out. She's got long blonde hair, I just can't remember her name off the top of my head. She's very, very beautiful, long blonde hair, and she's in Canada. So um, this is a beautiful product with multiple use for, for sure. I love these jumbo sticks. I have two of them and I love them. I use one for my lipstick and I use this one specifically for eyeshadow. So let me see how we are looking. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. Oh yes, that looks really nice. Oof, that black is pretty dramatic but I like it it matches my mood today <laughs> let's put a little bit more here I love the combination of the lip too the lip is perfect with this look the polka dot the dark and then the gray and black eyeshadow look. So it's Wednesday. Make it a fabulous day wherever you are. Please stay safe. Please continue to pray for all of these people here in Houston that have lost their homes. Um, it is a really sad, sad situation and they all need, they all need our prayers and our help. And um, I pray that you know, we, we come, that the, they come back from it as stronger and more determined than ever. Um, I don't know if there's any fatalities or not. I haven't, uh, I've just been able to get my, um, internet back up and working here in my house. And so I haven't been really watching the news, if you say. I do most of my information I get from reading, but I haven't seen that there's been any fatalities. Uh, I hope not. For everyone's sake, obviously. Have a splendid, splendid Tuesday. And thank you for being part of our little community here. You guys are, you're just wonderful. And I love coming in every day, getting ourselves ready for our day so we can have the best day ever. So you can make that all important 10 second first impression. Because let me tell you, it happens a lot more than you think it does. And be ready for it. Don't let any opportunity pass you by because you just never know where or who it's gonna lead you to. And life is all about being open for possibilities and change. Change can be hard, but it also can be spectacularly beautiful. So just be prepared for it. Put yourself together every day. That's why we do what we do here. That's why I have this community. And I so appreciate you and your comments and your time. We are all very busy, right? We all know that. And I have got stuff everywhere. I'm going to have to get a wet towel and clean myself up here from all that powder. Have a splendid Wednesday. Get out there and hit your Grand Slam, whatever it is, so you can have your best life. Live it successfully, whatever that is in your world. Let's help you get there. Be your biggest supporter. You are your biggest supporter and your biggest cheerleader. And believe in yourself. Believe in yourself because you can do it. Your mind and your ability to believe in yourself is your most powerful tool. Absolutely your most powerful tool. Use it to your advantage so you can have your best life. Have, it, have all the success that you want, whatever that success means in your world. And I'm here to also remind you every day, your age is just a number. It doesn't mean anything. It shouldn't stop you from chasing your goals and your dreams. It's just a reminder of the day you arrived and your glorious birth. That's all. Don't let it stand in your way or prevent you from chasing a dream. You don't want any regrets at the end of your life. So go get them. Be your best and most important supporter. And thank you for joining me. 
If you're new, please let me know you're new so I can reach out to you and say thank you for joining our little and growing community. You are appreciated. I appreciate you and every comment you send me because you're giving me time and that's a valuable commodity and I appreciate it. Have a blessed, fabulous Wednesday. I'll see you the next time. Don't forget, hit the bell so you know the next time I post a video and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. This is Carrie from down in Houston. Bye-bye.